everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Ike, the one who was a part of the Black Screen stream from Illyris channel when they were criticizing Selene and all that kind of stuff that went on, met with Mint and Matara, or at least had some kind of contact with them at OtakuCon. And of course, Mithin Matara are Nina and uh, Pomu. Uh, I got to meet two pretty cool people. One is sort of a motherly like variety and the other is a fairy. It was nice to say hi to them. Haven't seen them in a while. He, he is just saying that he said hi. So there's no inkling that there was a long conversation or a meeting after a dinner type of thing. They just said hi and probably moved on. But let's see what the people react here. F him for the black stream. That's all I have to say about this. Feel conflicted about this. On one hand, he's the one of the people responsible for the black screen stream. Such an obvious case of slander and trying to destroy characters should not be forgiven, at least already within the span of half a year. On another note, we're obviously not privy to the personal lives of livers, talents, VTubers, entertainers, period. We don't know the dynamics and context behind the people here, and it's not up to us who they can be friendly or friends with. Of course, you can have your disagreements about who they should be friends with. You can have your just not liking the situation. Of course, I'm not going to police you just like, you know, these people are saying, don't police them. I'm not going to police you for your beliefs. Um, I just say, you know, have them responsibly. That's the only thing that I would recommend because, you know, it can lead to account termination if you go too far, that type of stuff, you know, and this made Mint and Matara uh, come out and say that they're friends with Ike. I don't give an F if they met, giving him the benefit of the doubt on the stream. And if you're going to rag on like on Ike, use the fact that he inadvertently sicked his fan base on someone else. Yes, the black screen stream was a sicking of their fan base against other people. Wonder if either Mint or Matara will mention that they ran into Ike in one of their future streams. They obviously can't use his name, but whether they call him old friend or an old co-worker or don't talk about him at all, it would be interesting. The fact that one of the black screen members is seemingly still on good terms with two of them is a big deal in my opinion, especially now that they've reunited with Doki. Yeah, it kind of is. It I can understand that it kind of is a big deal. Um, it can be a big deal, but of course, as these people are saying, you don't want to, um, you don't want to friend police other people um, because then that makes you, that ends up making you a bad guy. Maybe good friends, his former coworkers showing courtesy, reading into it on towards both sides, is just making rats, which again, is, has been condemned before. People don't live and die by whom they're friends with. You can be on good terms with people who hate each other's guts just fine. And from the sound of it, what he said much closer to an, I bumped into some ex-coworkers today than it is I met up with some friends today. I know if I bumped into someone I hate, I'd rather stay polite, keep the conversation casual and short just to get it over with and without trouble. It is too time consuming and too energy consuming to keep the hate going, in my opinion. It's just my opinion. You can hate me for that one too. But I try not to continue hate. I try not to push hate and stuff like that on more people or try to make my community dislike whatever. I just try to give information and tell you guys to make your own decisions. Hate takes up a lot of space and takes up a lot of energy. That's why I try not to do it myself. But of course, I'm not going to police what people do. Y'all do what you go and do. I just don't, uh, I'm not for that. That's not the, the type of uh, energy I like to bring to the table. I am glad that someone posted this because I have had this question in a lot of my videos about Nidhi Sanji. How are the graduate Nidhi Sanji livers doing? Out of pure curiosity, just wondering how, you know, the JP livers are doing. Um, I know I used to watch Motoru and Setsuna in 2019. Just really curious about what's up with the livers that have graduated or was the general reason most of them graduated disappeared if there was one given. Moruto's doing quite well these days, Nanora, which is basically Himimori Luna. I'm putting that out there because she's an amazing creator. She has over 1 million Lunites now, which is great for our pink haired princess there in um, in Hollow Life. A number have gone on to be indies, though the only one who seems to have had the smallest loss was Aoi and Chihiro. They don't have most recent graduates. Old list posts from the Realistic Remote 874 have known current identities of graduated JP Livers. Check Niji Sanji for your YouTube uh, wiki. 24 retired Niji, Niji talents on the list have current identities for eight. Yuki Chihiro, uh, first gen debuted, is now um, uh, retired 2024. Moruru Gamers debuted 28, retirement 2019. Meiji. Uh, is Kohaku Aho Gasen, debut 2019. Gundomire Usachan Club, uh, debut 2019, retired 2023. Otagi, Otogibara Era, debut 2019. Uh, Suzuhara Lulu, Mahi Lulu. Uh, Mizuyumi Kai, Mayuzumi Kai, Blues. Melissa uh, Kindreka, also there. He has about half of the retired JP Livers, although some require verification. <clears throat> 
Play churches in the sub for others, finds potential pointers for Suzuka Utako, uh, Azuchi Momo, all these people. And of course, here's the list of people who have graduated. The list, of course, you have Zion Lanza, who's Sayu, Selentatsuki, we already know the person, Doki Bird. Uh, Yugo Asuma is unnamed. Hina Kosaka, you we already know who she is. She's Matara. Mr. Rias, we know who he is. K9 Kuro. Miki Manatika is Michi Mochi V. Poma Rainpuff, etc. Adra Cecilia is um, Naruyuri. You can take a look at all these here. I'll leave it for you. You can pause here. I'll leave it for you guys to uh, take a look at all of these. I'll pause as I go down the page just so you guys can get an idea of all the people that are around. And you guys can, of course, see them and, you know, see the links to them and get an idea of what's going on there uh, of anybody that you want to follow. I do give this out there because, you know, a lot of people want to follow their former uh, people who they used to really love, who used to be an Oshi for them. And that used to be a before Doki Bird. That was a cardinal sin. Nowadays, people want to follow their former livers because they know that if you keep it private, those people will not be able to. Well, they will be able to still thrive. You do have fans who still want to see them, and it is sad to not be able to see them afterwards. So that whole uh, weirdness that used to happen about don't talk about PLs, etc., my rule has always been do not talk about PLs as long as they are with their large organization. For example, I will not talk about Kiara's PL. I will not talk about uh, Guru's PL. I will not talk about Ame's PL. I know all of those. I will not talk about Kali's PL. I will not talk about people who I know like Matsuri. I follow her PL. Um, I follow uh, Mio's PL. I follow other people's PLs in JP side as well. And I know a lot of their PLs. But I will not put those out because they are currently livers in an organization. Same thing with um, Hex when he graduates. Yes, I'll put the PL out there, but until he graduates, I'm not gonna mention it. Things like that, Fox, the same thing. Others, the same thing. I will not mention it until their PLs are, like they actually in their current lives are no longer there. Dokugai Chinami, formerly Gundo Murray of Niti Sanji fame, appeared on a Japanese TV show. If I'm not mistaken, Gundo Murray, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, was the one who got, uh, terminated for the issue that happened uh, about a uh, baseball thing. She's very ignorant on baseball. She knew she, she told everybody she was ignorant on baseball. She asked, why can't the pitcher just hit, just throw the ball at the batter if he doesn't want it to hit it? And that's, you know, that's actually a rule, rule break. That's actually a big thing. If I'm, if I'm mistaken, please correct me if I'm wrong. All John we know of, what Niti did to her was made, I mean, actually start hating Niti Sanji. I've never watched her, but what happened, absolutely unacceptable. And I'm really surprised there wasn't a way more outrage. Single joke, silly question. So it is that person. Give me the TLDR. It was, a big baseball event she made a joke about the lines of i don't really understand the rules of this game wouldn't it be easier to just hit the batter with the ball not even remotely controversial just kind of an easy accidental evil airhead joke people make all the time a lot of japanese twitter people hated her for that wanted her gone and eventually she did get gone so there we go that's the backstory of this now as i mentioned as i want to mention www all these things are laughing basically it's an, like an onomatopoeia i think that's i'm using the right word for laugh and right here she's saying how many people that I know have contacted me? Basically saying a lot of people I know have contacted me. And the bottom part, the question that she's asking here is that's what was on the screen. This is what was on the screen here. And uh, there we have it. That's why people were contacting her. She was laughing at the fact that people were contacting her. And here she is, very low volume. I apologize for low volume. There's nothing I can do about that, but there she is. There she is on, on the show, them asking her questions, things like that. Always great to see this, always great to see this. Can't seem to find the name of the TV show, but multiple people have posted pictures, apparently. It's Bakuto Reiwa Mondai. That's the name of the TV show, if you want to look it up. It's very amazing that she seems more successful rather than her time in Niti Sanji. Just imagine appearing on TV. In Japan, even the organizers of Blue Whale Challenge can go on TV. It's wonderful. Digit happy for her and hope she finds more success in the future. Her joke was asking if she did not understand baseball. The joke was not... It wasn't the most tasteful of jokes, but it was a freaking joke, dude. She didn't actually mean to actually cause harm to anybody. It's just, it's a big W. I'm very glad. I hope she continues having a lot more success outside of Niti Sanji because it was wrong for her to be terminated the way she was. And when people are terminated the wrongful way that her, Zion Lanza was, Sayu was, those type of things, I absolutely go and support them 150% because they should not be affected by some dumb little thing there just because people are getting their panties in a bunch. I just heard the news about Lulu Ria from React. 
read at your own discretion. This is a unfortunate situation that happened. Of course, if you are ever in one of these situations where you feel like you need to talk to somebody, there are plenty of places that you can get help from. You look it up, there are many prevention hotlines that you can look up specifically for that type of thing. If you're ever in those type of situations, talk to somebody, please. All right, now that I have that out of the way, Luluria, otherwise known as Teran Mikoshi, took her own life after being taken advantage of multiple times by the CEO of React. She took, she took it into her own hands on the 18th of June, 2023, I believe, or 2024, this year, this year. She said goodbye to her fans in a TwitCast stream a couple hours before and made clear she was what she was going to do. Her fans tried to talk her out of this, but to no avail. She just was into a corner and she, it, it hurts. It hurts to see this. And it is painful to see this because I have had friends that have taken this step as well. I have had people that I know that have taken this step as well. It leaves heartache and pain in its wake. It leaves lives broken. And it is not something that I will ever judge someone for doing. It is not something that I will ever criticize someone for doing. But like I said, if you ever get to that point, talk to somebody, please. There are a lot of people out there that you don't even know. You are the world to. You matter a ton to. So talk to them. Get it situated. It's not going to be an easy battle. It's not going to be an easy battle. But it is, it is a battle that I am confident you can win. She committed by throwing, you know, by what's happened here. She tossed herself in front of a train. That's unfortunate. Here's her last message. There really isn't anyone at the station. There are plenty of times to go to lessons. It's really the end. Her last message. And um, of course here, Otsururu, good night. Love you. Ria-chan forever. Hugs. And this is her fans gathering after the news broke and they were sure it was her. I post this here so that people are aware of another corporation that mistreats their talents, sadly, with a deadly outcome in this case. May you rest in peace, Ria. I hope you find peace. I hope you do too. Honestly, I hope she found peace. It is unfortunate that she had to take that step to find peace, but I hope she's at peace now. A woman dies, a woman blanks in Cebu Lion accident after this whole situation as you're seeing. Tragedy occurred on the tracks near the station just after 1 a.m. 10 a.m. service. Uh, service was suspended for an hour. Woman's identity has been confirmed. She was an unemployed 21-year-old who lived nearby. At around 10, 10 a.m. on 19th, an unemployed woman from Hano City was blank when she was hit by a train uh, heading from Ikebukuro to Cebu, Chibi, uh, Chichibu, on the tracks near Motakaji Station on the Cebu-Ikebukuro line in Iwasawa, Hano City. According to Hano Police Station, the woman stepped onto the tracks from the edge of the platform and collided with an oncoming train. The driver noticed the woman standing on the tracks, applied the brakes, but it was too late. No passengers or crew were injured. The train stopped at the state at the scene for about an hour and resumed service at 11.10 a.m. It seems cold, but they have to continue as normal because that impacts way more people than just one person. They hopefully, hopefully treated the uh, deceased with respect, hopefully they were able to handle everything properly uh you know communicate to the family and friends etc police are investigating the incident as likely a blank according to cebu railway 28 trains on both lines were suspended affecting about 2,000 passengers so in those situations what ends up happening is the japanese railways which is the one that runs all these sort of the specific railways they will give a note out to every single passenger that needs it those notes say hey there was something that happened on the line they are late to work or they are late to this or late to that because we had to stop service for an hour. It is not their fault because Japanese trains are known to be on time all the time. So they need that kind of stuff. This would be traumatic to me. I mean, I'm, I'm a guy and everything, but a train that I'm on aided in someone committing and their body's there. You're going to see it. You're going to hear about it. You're probably not going to see it because they're probably not going to let you off the train, but you're going to hear about it. You're going to know something happened eventually. And that is going to be traumatic. That's something you're probably just going to have to actually get therapy for because that is, it, it's that bad. And of, of course, again, condolences go out to the fans. Condolences go out to the uh, people affected, the, the friends, the family. That's what I mean by people affected. The CEO deserves some kind of karma for this, in my opinion. By karma, I mean getting fired, uh, getting charged with the actual assault, things like that. That's the kind of karma I mean. Uh, her intention in a way, she wanted him to pay for what he's done. My dear goodness, seriously hate it when talents you see as friends actually do an attempt. My, may her soul rest in eternal peace, knowing she'll never be tormented ever again. 
At least that torment is gone. Uh, may you find peace. Uh, the OTF, I used to watch a karaoke endurances. She wasn't the best singer, but she had her own charm. She lives on in clips and streams. Since she graduated, her channel is privated, but I found a collab stream from other VTubers, even though she's gone. Don't forget her. And this is one of the things that they're mentioning here. The collab streams here. Um, and yeah, she's able to live on with this. And I'm <laughs> glad she was. And it is unfortunate that um, this happened. It is unfortunate that any of this had to happen. That there was a feeling that any of this had to occur in order to make things better. Again, like I said, may she rest in peace and may everyone who knew her and every family member who was affected by this know that she is not at peace and that their, their family member, their friend, is no longer suffering at the hands of a piece of scum like this person who caused that type of pain and anguish for her. I'm going to stop there because if not, I'm going to get more angry. So I'm going to stop there. Here's some more news. Brave Group. Brave Group, who it recently bought and an acquired idol group idol corp now has announced the virtual esports project china where four talents will make their debut on august 28th to 31st remember brave group is an investment firm they're pretty much an investment organization kind of trying to be the disney of vtubers where they have freaking a bunch of agencies under them that do their own thing separate from brave group but under the big umbrella so they're not fully managed by brave group they just get more money in there maybe if you know things are going really bad brave group will step in with professionals to help them get themselves on the on their feet and get themselves a better you know understanding of how things go and how things should be and hopefully this helps them a lot and these four i do not blame them at all i do not blame brave group for going into china but it is a risky thing vispo cn so it's going to be going through their vispo branch their Vispo side. They're going to be having Kohari Aya, Shirasaki Suyuri, Puffy, and Sen. They're all going to be in there. They're all going to be doing their thing. And they're all going to, of course, put their full, full force behind trying to be popular and trying to get that popularity that they so dearly deserve because at least give them a chance, as that's what I say. So here's what this actually says. Um, it says, with the aim of spreading Vspo project vision, not only in Japan, but the countries and the regions around the world, we're starting a great China project, this be Vspo CN. Like Vspo, Vspo CN, we hope to convey our project decisions, many people possible by using the common language of games and experts through Billy Billy, a profile cute person in charge of the Being High competition project, contrary to her appearance, very calm girl and loves horror. Monster girl she hangs out with are so much old friends that they chat together in the middle of of, uh, of the streams. Shirasaki Suyuri, positive, coordinating older sister who loves her interacting with people. Uh, an elegant and sickly young lady, Puffy is. Although family business seems to be struggling, he remains quite optimistic. He's quite reserved. I think he, she, is, it, it, it's the way that it freaking happens in Japan. He, she, kind of like interchangeable in, in the way at least it's translated literally. Uh, quite reserved. Uh, the crow on his shoulder, Porter opposite. Uh, she's so cute, you unconsciously want to protect her, but when it comes to games, she's completely changed. It's, so those are the four that are going to, to be doing it. They're going to be doing, of course, CST and G GST, JST, which is basically China Standard Time and Japanese Standard Time. I wish them the best of luck. I wish Brave Group luck in China because it's not going to be easy. China has a lot of regulations, so I hope that they are able to work properly in, the, in their new environment. Welcome back, everyone, to another VTuber showcase where I try to show a little bit of the world of VTubing to you guys and give you guys some VTubers to take a look at because the community has given so much to me, I want to give something back in return. Here we have Iris Bloodblaze, the a VTuber here who is a previously Starblight Malice, VTuber affiliate, Soulsborn, Horror, etc. They look like a demon dog, I believe. It, that's what it appears to me. Let's take a look at their actual content to take a look and see what's going on. Let's take a look at something that they did. Oh, terminal case of Ooh Shiny. Okay, that that's fair, that's fair. <laughs> Thank you for the squelch. Oh my god. They got squelches. I've got a terminal case of the Seth, you guys. Seth, what? My cat just screamed. I said that and my cat was like, ah! Oh, and she got the googly eyes things too. So yeah, she seems to be an entertaining uh, VTuber. She has a nice voice. She has that entertaining vibe. She has that good conversational skills, which is something that I myself realized that I may be lacking a little bit of, but enough about me continuing on with Iris Bloodblaze here. I am Iris Bloodblaze, a VTuber that streams mainly Soulsborne or horror games, um, formerly Starblight Malice, currently rebranding Era. So they are taking a look. Um, they did move 
Q&A intro was Starblight Malice. That was their old name. Now they are the Iris Blood Blaze. Let's take a look at their Twitch About section, which a lot of times can be a little bit more full in and uh, complete and everything. So it says, I'm a variety streamer focused on Soulsborne horror RPGs. Sometimes I'll play retro action game or surprise collab. Pretty chill and chatty. Let's hang out together. They, they shout out their model artists, model riggers, uh, start end screen and layout and panels. All of that has been shouted out, which is amazing to do. Uh, I do see that with a lot of larger VTubers. Uh, some of the smaller ones don't do that, but that is up to each individual VTuber. They have their YouTube, their TikTok, their Twitter, as I have shown you their YouTube here. And um, they do put out a lot of shorts, which is getting a good amount of traction uh, based on their size. And yes, hopefully this helps them out. Thank you so much for being a part of this VTuber showcase. Irish Blood Blaze, I do hope that the showcase does help you along in your journey and is a positive aspect of it. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys, and I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord, there's Twitter, there's other places that you can check me out, Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.